right guys it's that time again it's wednesday but not only is it wednesday it is my birthday happy birthday all right you guys so i'm here with so this happened it is the second bottle from my choice of wines that i received from club w last week i told you guys about tbt i'll put the link in the description box for you to review review to view as well as the other videos in the wine the wednesday's wine series thank you guys so much for the love and support it's very encouraging i'm really excited about it because i didn't know what to expect so all the great feedback is really helpful and i appreciate it to all my new subscribers welcome and all my old subscribers love yes so let's get into this wine I want to kind of just go ahead and jump right into the review to kind of let people know off bat what I thought about the wine and then I could go ahead and read to you what the card says. I kind of wanted to switch it up for the fact of, you know, people just want to get right to it, know if they like the wine or not. And then for those of you who want to stick around and get a little more detail, I can get into that. So for the record, I love So This Happened. This wine is fun and festive. This white wine blend is great for those of you who love white wines as well as those of you who love reds it is a ultimate blend love it very easy to drink very just simple smooth taste to it i can i can sip this but it is great to find a good white wine blend and i'm telling you try it you will like it so i'm getting my little swirl on here so i want to get right into it tell you what i'm smelling and floral. Floral, very aromatic. Just, it's just really like a fruit, tropical smell. I love it. And I'm swirling my wine. Most of you may or may not know, but swirling your wine is just all part of the wine tasting. You've probably seen people doing it like, what the heck? And now you're seeing me doing it like, what is the deal? It's all a part of the wine tasting. And I'm learning that as I swirl the wine, I can really get a smell of what is in the wine and what they were going for with the blend. And then on top of that, swirling the wine, getting a sniff, also helps you when you sip. To really get a taste of what this wine is all about. So you can actually taste what you smell if you're really into it. And I am, I'm getting, I'm so into this wine. This is really smooth, I'm telling you guys. So. The taste, I want to say, would be also tropical, but it has spice to it. It has like a kick that's, it's not overbearing or just like, you know, overpowering that it's so strong you can't take it, but you taste it. It's a real quick, zesty, 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 that's a good word, zesty, sweet, juicy taste. Doesn't that sound good? That sounds so good, because it is good. I love this wine, I'm definitely a fan. Okay guys, so on the scale, this is a fruit. So from the fruit, earth, wood, and body scale, it is a fruit. When can you drink this wine? This is a cocktails wine. How? You take it out of the fridge 15 minutes before drinking, which is true. I did that with this one, and it is definitely a wine that you don't want room temperature, but you do kind of want it to be a little bit cold, of course not frozen. So yes, 15 minutes before drinking, 15 minutes out of the fridge before drinking. Um, it comes from five, it has five different group varieties within it. I'm not gonna attempt to say all of the, the names here because I don't wanna butcher them. What I will do is put this information on the card also in the description box for you to view and check out. The origin is California. It smells like jasmine, hibiscus, white peach, white peach, and sandalwood. Very true. That is very descriptive, but you know, I'm still trying to get into explaining to you what I smell and I want to make it so that I'm not giving you just what they're saying. I want to tell you what I smell, just like a normal random person that's just trying these wines, getting into it. I want to give you my review based on what I kind of just feel. I told you guys a couple times in, a t in, in all of these videos, I don't think all of them, 
because the introduction wasn't part of it, but anyone that I did on an actual wine, I told you how much alcohol was in, within each. I explained to you the whole difference between your preference and your, your, your alcohol, what's the word, what's the word, what's the word? It's your alcohol tolerance. So again, I want to touch subject. I want to touch that subject and just say everyone's tolerance is different. Just to kind of feel that that real mellow chill out mode. I got this. I got that from this this from this wine and I just wanted to share that with you guys because some people just want to get buzzed and some people just want to have one glass of wine and just be able to chill and mellow out. Some people want to drink the whole bottle. Personally, two will get me like, and this is any wine, usually it's two will get me buzzed. Like 14.2% alcohol content, you know, hey, what can I say? You're definitely going to get a buzz from this wine. Um, ladies and gents, I can't say anything bad about this one. I didn't say anything bad about TBT um, because like I said, I just, I love wine personally. And I'm gonna give you my honest review. If I do ever not really like a wine, I'm gonna tell you guys that as well. But this one, out of the ones that I've tried so far, even over TBT, I like this one. I like this one so far. So, hey, hip hop parade. And I have another bottle, and I'll tell you guys about that story later. For now, I'm gonna let you guys go. Have the rest of your evening. Enjoy your Wednesday and all that goodness. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and fam who love wine, and also leave that feedback. Keep giving me that feedback. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, I love it all, I need it. So definitely keep coming. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.